Hello and welcome to a new player review. So for today we're going to have a look at the new SBC that came out yesterday, which is going to be Rodrigo from Valencia, uh, Rodrigo Moreno Machado. Uh, very nice, known as Rodrigo, uh, easier that way. Um, a very nice looking card on the face stats with an uh, upgraded uh, five star weak foot um, from a three star. Uh, and also the four star skill moves, uh, high medium work rates. It looks like a very, very good card. It looks probably one of the best, if not the best, uh, striker for the uh, La Liga. Um, it's directly comparable, I want to say to that um, Inaki Williams, his latest inform is going to be like an 86. Um, just a quick glance at them together, they look very, very similar. Uh, obviously, Rodrigo is going to be just a little bit better and not that much. The price difference is going to be about a third of this uh, card is uh, to complete. Uh, let's see if he's actually worth doing because even at under 300k, it's still an expensive card. Um, so like I said, uh, his base card is an 83. He doesn't have any other special cards. So he gets about a 40, uh, he gets five ratings boost. He gets about 40 base stats and about 200 in-game stats. So it's a decent upgrade. Uh, he's 182, so he's six foot. Uh, high medium, which is the desirable work rates for your striker, uh, left footed with uh, four star skill woes and like we said, an upgraded five star weak foot, uh, which is one of the uh, key attractions to this card. Um, before we go to the details, uh, we can check out the traits, which he has two very important traits. It's going to be the finesse shot and the outside the foot shot. Finesse shot is really important, um, especially for a striker and outside the foot. It means, although he does have a 5-star weak foot, sometimes uh, you'll be in an angle or in a position where you cannot switch the foot. And uh, he will take some good outside the foot uh, shots. So these are two very important traits uh, and a big plus uh, also added to this card. So his details are his overall 94 pace with 91 acceleration, 95 sprint speed. Um, not a big fan of that. Like I said, we always want it the other way around. We want the acceleration to kick in right away be more than the sprint speed so the sprint speed will be maybe a few points behind to uh, follow in after uh, so with that in mind I already went and applied an engine uh, not so much for the pace although 91 I don't know if it's going to be enough for a striker uh, at this current state current stage in the game overall shooting 87 with 90 attack positioning which is good 87 finishing is not the best but I don't think it's going to be the worst as well uh, with everything added into it. So I want to see how he plays without any improvement in the camp style in the finishing. 90 shot power, which is uh, amazing. And the rest of the uh, long shots, volleys and penalties all above 80 uh, should be great. Uh, passing over 83, uh, it's not a very important stat for your uh, striker, uh, but he has 86 vision, uh, gone to 91. Short pass 89 to 94. Uh, his long pass is very low 65 so he goes to 75 and curve 93 so for me this guy his important stats uh, is going to be vision short passing curve for a striker and all those have amazing um, uh, stats even without any improvement needed um, so i decided to try him with an engine because i think we'll get more out of it we'll get a bit more speed and we'll get the plus 10 and agile in balance um, and uh, that might make a bit more uh, a difference instead of boosting that finishing because he's gonna be a tall guy, he's very strong, so he might feel a bit uh, stiff and he won't feel that agile to dribble around. So we wanna give him more balance um, uh, and make this card more reliable. Uh, we'll see how that goes, goes if um, it doesn't work out. Maybe I'll change the chem style and put a sniper on him and try him that way as well. Uh, like I said, the rest of the dribbling stats are great. No defending, but good heading accuracy at 85. His physical is over 81, which is very high. Jumping 89, stamina 85, which is more than enough, uh, I would sus suspect, for a striker with high medium. Strength is very good at 82, but with low aggression. But I think that 82 strength um, is going to uh, equalize that low aggression. So all in all, it looks, like I said, a very good card. It looks like the best striker card to get into the um, uh, La Liga. And the striker is the only position that you probably want to play this card. So let's go into a few games and test this card out. So here we go with our first opponent, a very nice Prem team. Um, nice special cards, a couple of storylines uh, for Berkeley Bergwin. 
That's a good theme, very nice meta with Silver Tamori. Still a good card, even though it's silver. So for the first game, we're going to go in D4, 2, 3, 1 formation. We're going to try out for Birthday Rodrigo in the striker position. So attack positioning there wasn't great, but good pass. Another one, finish now. There we go, great finish. He kind of stood a bit back uh, when receiving the initial pass. So I'll, it wasn't the best attack positioning, but still a great finish. Nice, good pass. Stop there, Ben Yedder again. There's Rodrigo. Nice pass there. What a move. Pass to Essien. Rodrigo. Holds it with his strength. There it goes. Still holds it. Ah, and he's gone. All right. So. Um, good first game, 13, 14 minutes, uh, one uh, goal. All right, so here's our second opponent. It's a way, way better team with uh, very nice for birthdays. Uh, this guy is probably doing, I want to say, the objective. That's why Screen Pyatt is there, maybe. But that's saying Maxim and Kai Howard's a fantastic for birthday cards. Uh, we're going to try the same thing, 4-2-3-1 for, for birthday Rodrigo uh, in the striker position. Again, again, shoot, outside the foot, trade, and that's an excellent goal. He turned very nice there uh, and received the goal very, very nice. Look at that turn. Nice turn there. Excellent goal. Ah, crap. Yeah, there he is. Oh, dribble there. The ball, nice. There he is. There it is. Oh, that was a terrible control one as well. There he is, turn and shoot. Oh my God, no. Ah. Yes. Oh, what a pass, bro. Nice, hit it. No, terrible pass by Ken. Oh, good pass, again. Nice, go, again. Yes, finish now. Oh my God, how did he save that? He moved the keeper. We had one goal, uh, no assist, one on four shots, 11, 14 passes. I don't know about the shots, uh, maybe one or two should have been a bit better, maybe a bit better finishing there. Um, so with that in mind, I'm gonna go now and swap the chem style to a sniper and see if we can tell a difference maybe in the finishing. All right, so next opponent, uh, another great team, Mbappe and Bergwin and Ben Yedder. Right, so he did the striker trio with Kaka behind somehow. So uh, we're going to go again, the same formation, 4 2 3 one. The third birthday, Rodrigo had a striker, but this time we have a sniper chem style instead of the engine. There he is. Good ball control. Good stop. Again. There it is. Shoot. Oh, the finish. 1-0. No, try to cut in right away. Didn't work. Yes. Shoot. Oh my god, what a shot. There he is. Oh, good shot, but that was outside the foot, I think. So, go. Shoot. Oh, that was terrible. Ah, another 1 0 win. All right, so here we go with our next opponent. He likes it's the Icon SPC and the last game on uh, Loan and Re. So it's going to be fun. Uh, we're going to go in the same formation, 4 2 3 1. I'm going to try out for birthday uh, Rodrigo in the strike position, uh, but with a sniper Kim style this time. There we go. Again, good passing. Nice Rodrigo. Quick turn there, but good strength to keep the ball. From Boateng, again, good strength to keep the ball. There's a pass. Again to Rodrigo. No. Good stop. Good pass. And blocked. There we go. Good pass. Good no, finish. Kent. Yes, what a shot. Good strength. Foul. Yes. Ah. Go. Yes. Oh my god. Well, it was a tough volley to make, but uh, we get the lucky rebound. Good 
pass, run a pass. Rooney, there's a finish with an assist by Rodrigo, and he's gone. All right, so uh, a good game again, as you can see, 9.4, probably man of the match. I don't know what he, why is he not getting it. Uh, one goal and one assist with five on five shots on target, uh, eight on nine passes and nine on 11 dribbles. So we have uh, foot birthday Rodrigo, uh, SVC, um, for about 320K. Uh, if you are gonna complete this SVC, you need to wait until Thursday when the price is gonna be lower after, especially the, um, what is it, for birthday bag SBC that crap uh, expires. Uh, the price are gonna drop, so this one is gonna go, I believe, under 300K, maybe close to 280, something like that. Uh, so is this card worth it? Uh, first two games we played with an engine, um, one goal per game, uh, a lot of missed chances. Um, two last games we played with a sniper. I didn't feel a difference in speed and the pace that the engine gave us. Um, no real difference in dribbling as well. Uh, he felt kind of the same, but with the finishing that we got, uh, we did uh, have more accuracy on the shots, but we didn't get a higher completion. Uh, we were getting like four and four shots on target, but with only one goal again. So with uh, the five star weak foot and the finesse trade and the high finishing, the high attacking positioning and the shot power, I was expecting more from this card, which I don't think you're gonna get. Um, so in terms of uh, this being a good striker for La Liga, obviously it's a good striker, but for 300k, I don't think it's worth it uh, for this untradeable. Now, if you have untradeables, you could obviously do this uh, SBC, and it's going to be probably the best uh, SBC uh, for a La Liga striker that we're going to see until team of the season. Uh, but in terms of value, I don't think this SBC is worth it, uh, so you probably need to stay away from this one. So this is going to be it for this review. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.